Hey everyone, it's uh, Brett Hornby here and welcome back to my YouTube channel and decided just for change of scenery and different change of pace. I will be going back to the Stampede Demolition Progress but figure what I will do up here is since I'm looking at the Calgary's past and here we are staring at Calgary's present with the current arena at the Scotiabank Saladome that around here this is where the new arena is going to be, I believe, exactly at this patch of land where the new event center is going to be. And since I've done a few of these videos looking at the Stampede Demolition Progress, or the, or the Stampede Corral Demolition Progress, I meant to say that I figure that once the new event center gets started, I want to start, you know, doing the same thing, watching the construction of the new arena. Which is going to eventually replace the Scotch Bank Seldom and shows the sign of the times. But uh, this is where I started this tour off, and I'll just tell you that uh, you're going to see much, much less of the Stampede Corral compared to last week. So I'll go see you there when I get to back on site, capture some more pictures I'll share, and do what I've done in the past uh, few visits just capture video and just chat along. and Follow along with this Calgary Sports Center's journey. See you there. I'm back here at the corner just outside of Stampede Park, right at the corner where, right behind me, right here is the headquarters building, which I took a picture of, and looking back on where eventually the new event center is going to be, but here is the site where the Calgary Flames used to play at the, the old Stampede Corral, as you can see, as I'm slowly walk away, I gotta be a little extra careful in this visit, because we had a fresh patch of snow and don't want to slip while I'm recording, but in a month from my first visit when I made these videos you can see now four weeks later as I get behind the archway the gateway that it's gone you don't see that uh, corner anymore where I was right here last week where it was the last part of the building before it got totally knocked down and when I look at the other parts of the construction site they replaced some of the fencing for uh, plywood I was just gonna get uh, out of the way from the tractor for the snow removal but uh, so yeah you can see it's totally all knocked down I mean they're still cleaning up the rubble and repairing the site for the eventual BMO Center expansion we can definitely see how much uh, demolition progress has happened in in a month now, the only thing I regret when I Started, decided to do this just to get out of the house and make different videos as I wish I came out sooner to at least see the uh, at least the main front entrance where the old neon horse or cowboy used to be but that was still during the peak of the second wave of COVID and I was really locked down in the house and wanted to be responsible but uh, as you can see it's uh, all gone I mean yeah, obviously kept saying in my previous videos and uh, speaking of that you can see uh, my previous videos and I also made a new playlist where I put my Corel series videos these videos and then I plan on once they start done with the construction of the event center which won't be till August 2021 that I might want to come down and document and see the construction of the future as you know, I'm documenting the past, and here's the Scotiabank Saladome, the present home of the Calgary Flames, and just north of the Zambi Park and the headquarters is where the future home is going to be, and I'm not quite sure exactly what patch of land, but I think it's the one that's just north of uh, 12th, 12th Street, that's where it's going to be, just south of the, where the uh, Bell, Studio Bell Music Center, but yeah, you can really see right here that the mural is gone that part that uh, used to be last standing from just last week is gone and you know the cranes are still going at it 
to knock down the, the structure. So I'll come back and take a few more pictures and uh, have a few more views and then give my final thoughts on this visit. So I'll see you there. Oh, well, this for an inspiration as I was walking by. I shoot me, you, you shoot me with this mirror, this random mirror. I think this is more for vehicle traffic, but uh, might as well make fun and play with the mirror right now, as you can see right behind me with this mirror shooting me. I have the Stampede Demolition construction site, so uh, I just figured this was a nice, uh, fun thing to do as I was walking around. So this was just another bonus clip to walk right in. So I'll continue on doing my tour around the site literally and figuratively. And you can see me behind the camera while in front of the camera at the same time. How clever is that? So just still pan around and you can see, you know, no plus 15 and no more sight. And just like that picture, you can see the east entrance, former east entrance right here. So I'll just continue my site tour and check out pictures and video. I'm actually staying in the shadows of the Nutrien building for this visit just further back because you can see now where this all formerly or the plus 15 and I always like to say that humble street light used to be looking north where you know now those stands where I took in those last three games at the Howard Ritman Carousel is all gone well you can see they replaced the uh, PCL you know construction fence with plywood so I wouldn't be able to get a view where I was last few visits so this one gotta go further back for a much better view and was able to capture some pictures as best as I can without trying to get the mesh fencing at the former east end where the mural and the Zamboni entrance is but uh, this is what it looks like now you don't see the the old the old uh, arena anymore the cell home just remains alone humbly right here still closed off to the public with COVID-19 and uh, when I say I, when I started this tour I went close to where the new arena is eventually going to be where they start the construction of it August 2021 so roughly six months from now because this is the end of February and when I say it was four weeks ago that I took in the first view making this kind of video but uh, as you can see it's all gone you don't see that view anymore I mean just think of last month at least you still have the structure of it, that humble street light. You can see that with the the seldom, but no more. And it's still very important for me to document this. And while I was uh, actually on site, you know, doing this, there was another fellow, a much older fellow than me, that uh, he remember said when he used to work security when they were building the seldom. I mean, I was in my infancy. I was born in 1982, so I don't remember it, but. Uh, he said he used to work security and you know he was out on site uh, you know taking pictures doing the same thing as me but he also mentioned that uh, he knew someone that's planning on making a coffee table book on uh, this Stampede Corral but hopefully um, he'll make enough of them that maybe I'll buy one. He said that he's only planning on making 30 books so uh, that would definitely be an item I'd like to have. You know just been a sucker for this historic arena I mean being a sports fan and aware of the history of it even though much of it predates me and as I always keep mentioning it's important for me to document the history and as this blows my mind that when the Flames moved here from Atlanta that they played in there for three seasons before they settled home and and I just feel that uh, you know we're seeing the changing of 
sign of a generation that the past is now all gone. I'm not too sure what I'll cleverly name this one for Goodbye Stampy Grill. I have to think of something. I can't. Th I have to think of it yet. But uh, obviously, you'll see the name when you click on the video. But uh, you can see the past is now totally gone. Here is still the present, but uh, there's signs. Oh yeah, there's that fellow right there just walking by that I just talked about. The, like I said this is the present or the Salem and one of the oldest active arenas in the NHL. And when I started this, I said that's approximately where the new event series is going to be in just under six months. We'll start. Uh, you know, the construction of that, and I just think I'll eventually make out and make videos showing the progress of the future. So maybe it'll be a kind of lines about the past and the future. But uh, they say pan around, this is kind of like the best view it can get without, you know, trespassing or, you know, breaking in. But, uh, you know, that's to say it's there's still a lot of dust flying around because all the rubble is gone. They're sorting through it and hauling away and reusing as much of the material as possible but uh yeah it's i understand the decision but it is what it is but uh i think i'll just take a few more pictures and then i always want to close out by the coke stage for this visit not too sure any more visits i'll have but looks like it's getting to the point that i think uh there's not much more to document on the demolition progress is that the whole structure is gone and hall a is gone and it's getting ready for the new expansion of the convention center to say i wish i came a few weeks earlier before the you know the west entrance was knocked down where the murals the neon cowboy horse was but you know it was during the peak of the covid when it was just being responsible and sometimes you know you don't want to go out when it's too too cold but uh it is what it is but uh i'll uh, continue walking around catch more footage and uh close it out here so Hey everyone, I'm back up on the production stage on the Coca-Cola stage at Stampede Park. This is looking obviously towards east where I always say that the west entrance used to be where that's where you see that stamp used to see Stampede Corral and the you know the neon cowboy which I don't think I ever remember seeing it lit up in my lifetime. I know that was always there and it was out of commission for many years before the demolition, but this is what it looks like now. As best view can get around it, that you can see all the walls are gone, and this view has definitely changed. And you can see the cell on there, all humble, alone now, as this whole area will be eventually the new female center expansion. Which, uh, by the way, if you're not familiar with the banks in Canada. BMO stands for Bank of Montreal. That's what BMO stands for, and we just say BMO. And actually, it's you know a new bank that I've recently signed up for. But um, as I say, it's always just got to reminisce and look at the past of the Stampede Corral. And I'm going to say this will be apparently for the future. For when you look at the long-term plans that. Uh, I said it's the past, you look at the present and just around where I started this uh, video tour, taking the site in for the future where the new event center is going to be. It's just generic, it's the generic name we're giving it right now until some corporation or someone will slap their name on it and call it that arena or something whenever it's all decided. I expect to drop the puck on the 2024-25 season right there. but. Uh, you can see a lot of the demolition progress in four weeks because four weeks ago I remember standing here four weeks ago there was this the roof you saw the structure of it and then I didn't go the following week because it was blizzard minus 20 and cold but the following week family day weekend you saw the roof was all gone and it still stands it was minus 20 but at least it was you know like sunny like this and then obviously last weekend if 
when I recorded it that you just saw the northeast corner and now it's all gone nailed the mural the mural the stone murals the guy we did cap your smart mural all gone they say there's plans that I understand they're gonna reproduce that put that somewhere and all those pictures that they had in the concourse apparently it was all reproductions and I know that uh, I look back at my pictures from the Corral series pictures I did a couple years ago that there was a sign that said that the originals are preserved in the archive so they're at least a reproduction so they're in storage somewhere but hopefully you know they'll be able to have it somewhere maybe in a new arena and then I say and if you go in the cell them obviously in the concourse you see you don't see the find as many pictures as there's still a lot in the concourse to sell them next time whenever we're allowed to go back in there for events and all that I think that's what I'll try to do when I come back to the cell them for events in the future hopefully in the fall when we have the roughnecks again and always gotta catch the odd hitman in flames game I mean I definitely miss coming here but yeah it's just uh you know I gotta keep saying I gotta document the future or for the future of the past and uh, I just say it is what it is it's, I know another building that I won't feel as sad if it ever happens is I have memories at McMahon Stadium as well for the Calgary Stampeders and heck it was 10 years ago actually the last weekend that I was at McMahon Stadium to watch some hockey because I was there for the Heritage Classic when the Flames took on the Montreal Canadiens and we won 4 nothing. and then the next day I was there for the Carragher Hitman game where they took on the Regina Pats. Unfortunately, we lost that one three to two, but that was a thrill as well. But I know that uh, we definitely need to start looking at replacing the McMahon Stadium. But uh, it's just a sign of generation. I mean, heck, I turned 39 in a few months, so that's definitely a sign of the times. But you know, I saw a couple generations last week. You know, the young couple, the, the son, and then today I was just talking to one fellow that said. He was working security when they were building the cell dome and he was able to walk around that was being built. I'm sure that was a thrill and he said it was a thrill for him back then, but uh, yeah, I just say what do you think of all these videos that I've made that uh, just allow me to experiment and get out. I, I plan to, you know, come back to make more videos when I start the construction of the new event center as well. The BMO Center expansion because it's going to kind of happen at the same time, but I think for when it comes to the demolition of the Stampy Corral, I think I'm actually pretty much done for this. I mean, this four videos over five weeks. As I said I made a new playlist just for all my Corral series stuff, and eventually the future content when the kind comes for the construction of the event center. And I just want to document that as best I can when we get there. Assuming I keep making content when I enjoy doing this and. Uh, so I want to continue to keep growing and eventually, you know, be big enough to monetize my content. So speaking of that, if you want to follow along with this Calgary Sports Fans journey, home of the Flames, Hitman, Roughnecks, and Stampeders, uh, just make sure you like, subscribe. I mostly do talk Calgary Sports on my YouTube channel, but I know that the last few weeks with the, you know, the Winter Festivals with Chinook Blast, and I did the Northern Reflections last week that I've been uh, capturing that and sharing that as well. And, you know, I've been doing game recaps and want to uh, keep doing that and also do personal vlogs, attempt to comedy and also do share my experience same on the road or at a sport event. So if that all sounds like be interesting to watch to follow along with this Calgary sports fans journey you know what you do, just uh, make sure to like, subscribe I have my other social media links down in the description below and I gotta do some catching up with my Instagram for uh, capturing some pictures that I have taken on site as well as the uh, Chinook Blast and the Northern Reflections and I know after this I'll recharge and uh, go back to the Chinook Blast downtown for its third final weekend. But it's been fun for me to go out and do this. I need to get out more. I mean, now that hopefully the numbers keep going in the right direction with, you know, COVID and all that and eventually your strict CD so that I can go back where it's normal to, uh, you know, do this thing called weekend activities and get out of the house and do stuff. Yeah, remember those good old days? <laughs> hopefully it's coming back. But uh, I just say, I think, I think this is going to be my last demolition progress video for the Stampy Corral because there's really not much more to show progress it's it's all gone and it's just cleaning up preparing the site for eventually for what you see in these renderings for the new uh, Beano Center expansion and uh, still I have to say this uh, here we are last week of February of 2021 
17 weeks from now, 17, 18 weeks from now, are we going to be here for real? That's the question. Will we have a stampede in 2021? We missed the heck out of it in 2020. And earlier in the video, I took a picture of that chuck wagon outside the stampede headquarters. Where it had the tarp, it said the dates, July 9th to the 18th, 2021. Will we be here for real saying, yeah, who? That still remains to be seen, but uh, I just want to say thanks for watching. I have a couple more pictures as I'll get back to the train station and, uh, you know, go and recharge and get ready for a schnip blast tonight. And maybe I'll make a few more videos back in the apartment, you know, shortly. As, you know, right now I don't have any game recaps to do and there's no any big news stories. And I know that uh, the Calgary Hitmen will eventually get their season started well for season three of my Calgary Hitmen game recaps. So say hopefully you enjoyed this so I'll uh, capture a few videos and I'll say I'll bet you'll see you in the next video.